Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning another amazing vector database, cloud-based vector database called Web8. So if you search Web8 in Google, uh, you will get this documentation. So here they have already mentioned like how to connect this Web8 with the Langchain and all, everything they have given, all the integration and all, how to install, okay, how to configure, everything they have given. So guys, what I've done, I prepared one notebook. This notebook will give you the entire understanding like how we can use this Web8. Uh, vector database now this is the official website of the web8 web8 io so here you need to create one account first of all make sure you have created the account and after creating the account actually will get uh, free credits with the free credits you can only create one cluster the same way you did for the pine cone as well right and again it's a paid one guys you have to pay if you want to use their let's say uh, advanced uh, let's say i mean functionality you have to pay for that so here we'll be only exporting the let's say free one the free tab one because free tab one is enough for landing fine later on if you need it you can also upgrade your subscription so if you want to create the account just click on try now button so you will see uh, they will ask for the email and password with that actually you can create your account and you can log in with this uh, web yet. So guys, now let's try to see the practical how we can use this web yet vector database. So here, first of all, you need to install some of the libraries. Uh, so these are the libraries are common. So here, so guys, here now I'm using something called web yet. So this is the uh, like Python package like web yet client. So you need to install this package to connect with your web yet. Okay, web yet um, cloud uh, data database. Now let me just uh, quickly set up them. Uh, now guys what to do uh, you need to collect some of the credential so these are the credential are required so first of all i need my openai api key then i need my wav8 api key and wav8 cluster okay cluster url so this uh, three thing actually i need so i think we already created my openai api key just try to copy from my previous notebook so here is my api key so i'll just copy and here i will just try to paste it okay now let's see like how we can collect this web8 api key so for this just uh, visit your uh, so for this just visit your uh, web8 uh, dashboard and here just try to create one cluster just click on create cluster okay you need to give the cluster name so let's give any name so i'll give a test okay so you can give any name so everything will remain uh, same because this is a free free one and it will expire in uh, 21 days because it, this is the free version free tire i'm using okay but if you want to use for your production grade applications so at that time you can take the subscription okay now just try to create the cluster so it will take some time once it is ready so it will give you the status message and guys if you see web8 also support these kinds of client like python client java client cli trans, uh, typescript then go so it has actually multiple client support. So like those are working in Java and all. So you can also use it. Now guys, see my web cluster is ready. Now, if I click on detail, now here it should give me that uh, detail of my cluster. Now here, first of all, I need to uh, copy this uh, uh, cluster URL. Okay, just copy this cluster URL here. From here, you can also copy. Now let's go back to my web and here you need to paste it. Oh, sorry uh, this is my api so i need to paste it here this is my cluster url okay now i also need to copy the api so here is the api option just click here and this is the api key just try to copy and don't share uh, i'll delete it after this recording so I'm, that's why i'm sharing and i'll just uh, paste it here okay now i got uh, my three credential now let me execute them okay so first of all i need to read my data so let me read the data so here first of all uh, so here first of all i will create one directory called uh, mk drs data okay now data folder has been created now inside that i will upload one uh, so inside that i will upload one pdf file i have here so this is the yolo uh, paper actually yolo related content so you can download any kinds of pdf and you can upload here no issue with that you can either use text data okay doc data it's up to you uh, so guys as you can see uh, my pdf has been uploaded here now what i will do uh, i'll just try to load this pdf okay and uh, 
I'll just extract that text from it. So let me show you like how this PDF will look like. So guys, see, this is the YOLO uh, like presentation. Okay. So I have downloaded it as PDF. I'll just uh, execute this particular code. So here I'm giving that data directory and I'm telling just load the PDF file. Okay. Then I'm loading the data. Now let me load. So it is giving one error. It's telling unstructured package not found. Uh, please install it with uh, pip install unstructured. Okay. So what is happening actually? So if you see here, I have downloaded this uh, Google, uh, like you can say uh, slide. Okay. Google slide as PDF. That's why it is considering as unstructured PDF. Okay. So that that's why we need to install uh, one package called unstructured, unstructured PDF. So let me install it. So this is the command to install. But if you are having like uh, PDF, like uh, very, uh, simple PDF so you don't need to install it okay so this is for like unstructured PDF so if you have any complex PDF so you, you need to install this package so previously I was using like uh, paper and all okay that's why it was a uh, uh, simple uh, PDF but now I'm using like Google slide PDF that's why it's giving this error and it's pretty good like it will tell you like what are the package you need to install and all so it will give you the message as well so guys, it's done. Now it's telling just restart the runtime. So let's restart our runtime. Okay, now let me uh, execute this code. Now it is extracting all the text from this PDF. You can also upload multiple PDF here. Uh, it's up to you, but I have already added one PDF. I just want to show you the quick demo. Done. Now let me show you the data. So guys, this is the entire data I got from my PDF. Okay. Now I need to apply something called text splitting. I think you remember I need to convert it to chunks. So let's convert it. So recursive character text splitter. Okay. I'm importing from Langchain. And this is the chunk size and chunks overlap. You can give any number here. So let me just do it quickly. Now I got my chunks. Okay, see this is my chunks and also let me see the length. See all the things are common only. We are just changing the data uh, database client. Okay, like I'm using Chroma DB, Pinecode and Webit. So just client is changing, but steps are same. I think you are getting now i need to convert to embeddings so let me just comment it out so here i'm going to use openai embedding openai embedding and here you need to pass the openai api key uh, if you are not passing it's fine you need to add inside the environment variable so previously we added if you see here environment variable but here i'm not adding environment variable if you are not adding inside environment variable you can directly pass them okay that will also work Okay, it's giving error. OpenA is not defined because we have restarted the runtime. So I need to execute this cell again. Hmm. Now I think it should work. Now here I'll be uh, initializing my WebWeird vector database. So if you visit WebWeird documentation, uh, there is the documentation. And here they have given the installation guideline, then configuration, then what is the schema, libraries, everything they have explained. Okay. So you can visit the documentation and uh, you can get all the information. But here I already uh, gone through the documentation and I uh, prepared this notebook. So this is the code actually you need to write to initialize your web yet actually. Uh, that's why actually I like Pinecone one because Pinecone looks easy uh, Okay, uh, to me because uh, what I feel like Pinecone is like more easy. And it's like more uh, easy to understand and uh, like more clear. But if you're using WebWeird, so you need to write some extra code. Okay. Uh, but it's completely fine. Okay. No issue. You can use it. I, I will share my notebook. You can use this notebook as it is. So here I'm just, uh, first of all, importing WebWeird from Langchain. Uh, you can also import directly. It is also fine. Now here you just, uh, so first of all, you just need to connect with your WebWeird cluster. Okay. This cluster we have created here. I think you remember this is the cluster. So to connect with the cluster, you need to give the API key, OAV8 API key. And I think you know we already collected the OAV8 API key here and I stored in the variable. Okay. Then I also need uh, collected the uh, cluster URL. Okay. Both I have collected. Now, cluster URL you also need to give. Then you need to initialize the client. And inside that, you need to give the cluster URL and as well as the 
uh, OpenAI API key also because uh, using the OpenAI API key, it will use the OpenAI embedding. Okay, whenever it will convert your uh, data to vector embedding, so it will use that uh, uh, OpenAI embedding. Okay, so that's why uh, you need to give the OpenAI API key here. Now, I also need to give something called uh, authentication configuration. So this is the authentication configuration, which is nothing but my API key, WebAid API key. And this is the startup period. These are some default parameter you need to give and let's execute. Okay. Now, if you want to check it, whether this client is ready or not. So this is the code for it. So it's ready. So now it is true. That means my client is ready. Now it is connected with my WebAid client. Now, WebAid is telling you need to uh, prepare something called a schema. Okay. Here uh, they have given uh, one client schema. So if you visit this client uh, libraries, okay, so here if you see example client schema, so you also need to define some schema here. This schema is nothing but it just a uh, uh, it kinds of configuration it will take, okay, as an input like you can uh, change the configuration with the help of code. So that's why these are the things they are giving. But if you are not uh, able to get it, okay, it's completely fine. So you just need to give this schema and it will come on for every uh, experiment you'll be doing. So this is the complete schema guys okay so client schema detail uh first of all if it has any schema it will delete then it will add this schema so here uh you can give any name okay so i have given chatbot here then uh, here you can give any description then uh what are the vector actually uh, model you are using you can give the name here so in open ai actually you have ada model okay so here i'm using ada model i think you remember if i print my embedding so here I was using something called ADA model. Okay, as you can see here, I was using something called text uh, ADA embedding ADA model. So that's why you can also give the name and these are some description you can give. And after that, you can create this schema and you can uh, create your client. Okay, now this is the code so you can execute. And this thing is not required in Pinecone. So Pinecone can handle these are the thing automatically, but in WebAid you need to uh, provide. That's why I personally like, like Pinecone. Okay, now once it is done, you need to initialize the uh vector store okay so now this code will initialize the vector so what it will do basically it will take your documents okay i think you remember we have uh, we have uh, created the documents okay uh, we have created the cluster and from this cluster uh, with the help of this embedding we are just trying to generating the vector and storing inside our way weight okay now let me store uh, execute and show you now see guys now if i go to my way weight and refresh now it hasn't updated yet so after some times you will see it will update like how many embeddings had generated okay then uh, how many times you have uh, you can say uh, did the request everything it will show you here okay so all the information actually it will give you and these are the and guys these are the embedding model are available by default with this web yet so you can use any of them it's completely fine but we are using this uh, ada model uh, open ai generative model okay so yeah so guys usually it takes some time around uh, like uh, five to six minutes after that you will be able to see all the update here so in between what i can do i can show you the other step now we have successfully stored our embeddings now let me just do the similarity measurement that means similarity charts so here first of all i will ask one query called what is yolo because this is the yolo related content and here i am initializing this uh, similarity starts okay and because the vector store is it is this is my object and on top of that i'm just writing similarity search here i'm giving the query and top k that means how many output you want to get so here i'm given 20 you can give any number now it will return like 20 results okay 20 similar kinds of uh results see okay but um i can't uh, actually take the answer so what i can give i can give one chain with the help of lang chain so here uh, there is another parameter called question answering okay load qa chain you can also use this chain otherwise you can also use retrieve uh, qa chain okay th th that is also fine now here i'm going to use open ai llm now i'll define my chain and here i need to pass my open api key and uh, this is the chain type and temperature means like uh, if temperature is zero so your model would be like more uh, you can say stick to the uh, answer like it won't be giving any randomness and if you are changing the temperature to close to one so it will uh, give some random output as well okay so this parameter you can change i think if you have learned like llm so i think you know this parameter and all okay so these are like basic thing okay in llm now let me define my chain now here i will ask this query 
so change the run input documents so this is my documents this is my entire documents i'm giving okay the documents i have and uh, see this is the documents that means i got all the answer right uh, 20 answer and from this 20 answer i want my query that means the query i'm asking which is nothing but what is yellow so now with the help of uh, my llm i will get my authentic answer see see yellow is an algorithm for object detection that is an uh, uh, that is uh, unified uh, real time and has higher accuracy it is presented by shivang Xing, and this is the date of the publication okay so yes i'm getting my output and all so now you can ask any kinds of question about yellow and all okay i think you got it like i already showed you multiple time you can either create one while loop and you can ask many question here all right guys i think uh, everything is clear now how we can use this web uh, uh, like uh, vector database so we have learned different different vector database guys so far now we'll be using all of them to implement uh, different different like jni application so one more vector database actually i want to teach you this uh neo4j that means graph vector database so in the next video we'll be also learning about neo4j with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time